October 15, 2013, the official release date of Avast 2014. Let's go through the installation of the free version of Avast 2014. This is the baby we're installing. As you can see, the size is much smaller than normally because we're using a stub installer. My recommendation is to always use the custom install. That way you get to make the choices of what you actually want installed. Continue. And here come the choices of what we want installed. Your last chance. If you see something on here that you don't want installed, this is the time to go back and uncheck what you don't want installed. Let's continue. Agree to the license agreement. It's now creating a system restore point. My suggestion is that if you need help, use the Avast Support Form, a great place to get help totally free of charge from a bunch of us who enjoy helping others. If you own an Android smartphone or tablet, consider installing the Avast Mobile Security. Totally free. It does an excellent job. The installation is now done. And Avast will launch and do a quick scan to make sure you're starting off with a clean computer. Now, this is not a total scan of your computer. This is just a basic scan of some of the most important parts of the computer. Also looking for well-known infections to make sure they're not on your system. Scan has been completed. Uh, that's a good sound, something I enjoy hearing. Next will come registration. Before I do that, you'll notice these four tiles, which are shortcuts to things that you can easily access through the user interface. I like to be able to access the forum nice and easily through the interface. And the one add-on that I have on here is Secure Line, which keeps me secure while I'm traveling and on public Wi-Fi. Registration is done directly through the user interface. Make sure that you select the version that you've actually installed. For me, that's the free version. I'll be doing this in the background. We'll come back just as soon as I've completed this part of the registration. That's all there is to registering the program. Make sure you click the button down here that says stay with basic protection. Unless, of course, you're interested in trying the paid version, the Internet Security Suite. 
at this point the suggestion is restart your system to make sure everything that you've installed is working as it should. Any program that makes major changes to the registry requires a reboot in order to fully function. But as you can see, the shields are all working. I am now fully protected, ready to enjoy Avast 2014. Thanks Avast. Hope this helps. Stay safe. Be free.